can see that our player is animating, but it's really snappy. So to fix this, and there's another problem too. Now you can see he's a bit in, up in the air, even though the the collider is also up in the air. Problem is basically with the character controller. You can just set this skin width to zero. And you can see now it's touching the ground. Yeah. The animations themselves are still snappy. Fix that transitioning from crouch idle to moving is really snappy because because we're just taking the input which is always one minus one on the y axis so we'll have to let's just make this zero again save the project we'll have to do we'll have to create another vector 2 and smooth damp that value from the input vector so that's what we'll do in this part of the series start by creating a serialized field underneath the input comment so it'll be private it's going to be it's going to be a float smooth smooth input speed and we'll set it to 0.2 for now then we will add a header and say input underneath our smooth input speed we will define another private this is a vector 2 current input vector and we'll define another vector too this will be our smooth input velocity save that So handle input and move we'll do current input vector equals vector two dot vector two dot smooth damp and we will give it the vector two current which is our current input vector and then vector the two target which is the input vector <laughs> And then we'll pass in the ref to the current input smooth input velocity. And then finally this float smooth time, so input speed. Now wherever we are using input vector we need to actually just add a comment so input and movement now we'll have to replace this current input vector for smooth movement current input vector let's find all reference so in this method there's currently none okay now I reply let's see what happens The animation is still snappy for some reason. Hey, bye. Um. Let me just decrease it. Yeah, it's still as snappy.
They be adding an idle animation. So we can't check if it's zero, then I really think we can't do anything, so let's just... I think we made a mistake in our script instead, so... Um, let's right click and delete this. Still normal again, like it was originally. Okay, so here's the mistake. I had not used current input with us vector, I was using input vector still. Because if you don't do that, then... It will still give the snappy one which is defined inside the method above. Just comment that one above and start using the current input velocity. And now you can see that the animations are all smooth, movement the same, and it feels way better. So basically we've got the movement set up now. I can walk anywhere. Crouch, you can walk backward. Don't worry about the aiming animation because it's not anywhere needed for us. We'll anyway override it with our own aiming animation and our hip fire animation. It's all going to be our own animations. We'll override the arms using a layer. Right now, let's just get the movement so you can see we've got a really nice movement already set up. I can run, jump over objects. There's no jumping animation though, we'll do that after a long time, maybe. Okay, let's just delete this thing and delete the get the input because now we're not getting the input. Movies commence. Now we can do some small fixes. So here in the handle M function, we're currently doing really unneeded ifs. So let's do a duplicate. Comment out this one. I thought it would be a better idea to just set the bool to our own is sprinting bool. So if is sprinting will be false. So you get to delete the Just right where animated on set bool is spinning. Let me just show you. Okay, so this is the end you should have. Just change them with is sprinting and this one with is walking. This one with is crouching. So that looks better. Don't need to do ifs. It's already set bools. And now hit is turn off the kill boss. make the height just so that it can go right in the ground okay you can see that it's still working the same so this cover is a bit cleaner you can still see to crouch and jump you can see to crouch and about run and of course jump above objects if you want to okay
to have some fun moving about. Set that to zero on the skin width, and we can also delete this extra chunk of code and make it look really clean and handle and function. And really, that's it for this video. And see you in the next one. Just double checking the code; it's all looking clean. make a space in between of these and I will just see those simply for me I can just close this save our project and then I can just close these folders and that's really it